Hello everybody, today I want to talk to you guys about how social medias changed the world. Now this is going to be a video that I'm going to explain why Snapchat makes everybody's lives a little bit easier. Take it back to when you still had flip phones. When you had a 1.3 megapixel POS little flip phone that when you had to take a picture of something to send to somebody, whether it's food, whether it's a, you know, something at the store you want to know if you want to get for somebody else for Christmas or something, whatever you take picture messages for, you have to take the picture, wait for it to load, wait for it to resize, then it gets resized, and then you have to send, and then it takes that. Snapchat just threw that all the water, and I know that there's many other uses for Snapchat, and I don't think that this lone reason was why the developers made Snapchat, but just take a second to think about how something so simple changed your life, because now you don't send picture messages. You can just snap a picture, type it, draw on it, boom, send. 10 seconds, if, you know, I don't know why people do less than 10 seconds, to be honest, because you get 10 seconds, plenty of time to screenshot if you need to, plenty of time to do this, that, admire it if it's your beautiful, wonderful girlfriend like I do every time she sends me a Snapchat, and just, you know, you get, it's easier for people to communicate that way. Plus, not only that, but now you're more inclined to send picture messages. You're more inclined to interact with people. So, for example, my family has this thing where we send each other lunch. Whenever we're having lunch and we're not together, and actually while we're together, which is kind of funny, we will send each other the soda cup of the restaurant that we're at. So, every Saturday, if I'm at work, there's a subjoint that uh, my family will go eat at, and I will get a picture of that cup, and I will get a picture of them eating their meals. And it's it's kind of quirky and it's kind of dumb, but well, first off, that's how my family operates. We're kind of cool like that. But now we get more connected. We're more if we had a flip phone, we had to flip through, take the picture, wait to resize it. I don't necessarily know that we do stuff like that. Plus, on top of that, it's easier to send videos. You can, you know, now with the new update as of a couple of months ago, you can take pictures from your gallery. So if you have something that you just want to send something to somebody or, you know, you don't have it on Facebook or it's just easier to Snapchat it, you can take a picture from your gallery, Snapchat it to them, and then it will appear there for them to screenshot, for them to save, for them to do whatever they want with. So what is your input on something like this? I want to know if you guys still do picture messaging. I know that it's hard to eliminate it completely and it's not like like I mentioned before, that that was Snapchat's original goal. But I thought about this the other day and I was Snapchatting people and I'm like, I don't picture message anymore. I don't send picture messages. So let me know if you guys send picture messages still and let me know what you guys think of Snapchat as a whole and how Snapchat affects people's lives the way I explained it. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to click the beard up here to subscribe. Have a great day, everybody. Until next time.